Scott in Bermuda with Sean Greco. Club40Bermuda.com. Three bartending, and he's flown in all the way today uh, with great jet lag from Vancouver. So please give him a warm welcome. Thanks very much. Everybody hear me? Yeah. yeah, excellent. Thanks very much for having me out here, by the way. I've heard some great things about your country. Can't wait to get to play some golf, too. <laughs> How many of you guys are bartenders out there? Can you show your hands? Right on. Okay. How many of you have ever seen any kind of extreme bartending, flare bartending, what you just saw? Anybody? All right. You see these guys? Yeah. Not bad for a year, right? Teach themselves. I want another hand for them, actually. Thank you. Right. I just want to tell you a few, I want to tell you a few things about, uh, about what we feel extreme bartending is all about. Um, fun is great. Flipping bottles is, is wonderful. Yeah, flipping bottles is great, but uh, unfortunately a lot of people seem to misunderstand uh, the concept of it. They seem to uh, get too into the flipping, thank you, and too into the juggling, and they forget about the customer. Um, we've been teaching for about eight years now. We've got uh, 13 different videos that we sell, um, and hopefully you can come down to our seminar tomorrow and we can uh, share some ideas with you. But basically, what we want to spread with the world the idea is out there is the fact that you can have a lot of fun, you can make great drinks, you can interact with your customers, right, and you can do all the tricks, and it's really a good, a good final balance of everything, right? Uh, again, tricks are great, but we don't want it to just be about the tricks. When we find people do that, they start having a lot of an attitude, and we don't want to have that. You know, we just want to give people a reason to come to our bar, stay a little bit longer, you know, spend a little more money, tip us more. Uh, go away telling everybody what a great time they had and bring all their friends back. So that's the bottom line. And there's so many different ways to do that. So hopefully Sean will be able to uh, demonstrate a couple of the, uh, the skills. Uh, a little history on Sean. Sean was a, a student of, uh, of ours, how many years ago now? About six years ago. Uh, fairly, uh, fairly near the beginning of our company. Uh, and since then he's, uh, he's won lots of competitions and now he, uh, he, he helps me instruct. So we travel around the world and just try to spread ideas. So, um, but hopefully, you can help me critique him, put him on the spot a little bit. He's supposed to be pretty good, right? Well, I think you should prove it. So what I want is hopefully what you'll see is lots of fun, some good tricks, but I want to see precision, control, and I want to see style, right? I do not want to see spillage. I don't want to see him bobbling. I don't care how difficult the trick that he does necessarily, as long as he does it really, really well, right? This is a business. Right, bottom line, and if you want to be able to do this in your bar, you have to convince your bar manager and your bar owner. And the way to do that is to convince them that you're using this as a business tool, that you're a professional. Right? So no spilling, no dropping, tricks are great, but not if you can't make the drink and interact with the customer. How are you doing there, Sean? Good. Yeah, I think we got a couple assistants there. Yeah, definitely. By the way, thank you to Bacardi for, uh, for organizing this and the Club 40. And uh, come down to Club 40, they got some pretty good bartenders out. And, uh, and uh, hopefully we're going to make them a little bit better. So thank you very much for coming. I really appreciate you having me. And uh, make sure you give Sean a big round of applause if he does well. If he doesn't, let him know about it too. <laughs> Thanks very much.